There was more from LG at CES 2021 so far. They unveiled its uh, the first OLED ultra-fine monitor. So believe it or not, it hasn't been a lot of OLED monitors. Tons of OLED TVs. And then some that are kind of in between that you use as a monitor and a TV, mm-hmm. like the 48-inch that we use over at the studio, the other studio. Yes. But this is just a straight-up monitor, uh, computer monitor. It's not attempting to be a TV at all. And it's giving you the benefits of OLED, which, well, you know why I'm such a big fan of it on the TV side. People have been concerned about using it on the monitor side. However, there's all kinds of these uh, pixel shifting technologies so that you can avoid some of the drawbacks like screen burn-in and things like that. But anyway, uh, OLED Pro with HDR, individual pixel dimming, a 31.5-inch display and over 8 million pixels. They also launched a new 39.7-inch ultra-wide 5K 2K, mm. which actually might pique your interest given it the monitor you're using right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's uh, ultra-wide. Is that a... What's the size of this one? This one is a 40... No. Is it in the 40s? 42-inch? Is it really? 30... I don't know, Will. You're supposed to know these high things. High 30s. You stare at that every day. <laughs> but anyway, this one, this one is, is a pretty high resolution, 5K 2K. And obviously, there's, these are going to be targeted high-end type of monitors. The OLED model covers 99% of the DCI-P3 color space and 99% of Adobe RGB. And the, uh, the obviously, the pixel dimming HDR tech that OLED is cap- capable of is going to be a hot feature for uh, video editors, photographers, things like this. You're going to get, uh, obviously, a very... Well, uh, a, a very accurate picture with 99% mm-hmm. Adobe RGB on there as well, which hasn't always been the case with OLED. So look how thin it is, too. That's yeah. another advantage, another thing you get with OLED. So that's kind of cool. Uh, as far as the other one is concerned, it is one of these kind of hub-style displays. With You know what they do, how they do with the ultra-wide? It's going to have three standard USB ports, two DisplayPort inputs, an HDMI 2.0 port, USB type B upstream, a 90 watt USB C port for charging nice. your uh, MacBook, MacBook, laptop, yeah. otherwise, and uh, and a KVM switch and a headphone jack. Wow! So you can switch between multiple computers being connected to it. This is the, the all, I'm talking about the ultra wide one right now. You can scroll down and see an image of that that one there. So that one's going to be like kind of your Thunderbolt four hub, which is going to be kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Actually, I believe I've got that wrong. I think the specs that I just listed were actually for... They were. That crazy amount of uh, versatility was for the OLED model. The 5K 2K 40-inch model, on the other hand, is DisplayPort, HDMI, USB, and Thunderbolt 4. So anyway, I mean, they both have a lot of expandability. Yeah, I was showing off the, uh, the ports here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is the OLED model. The OLED yeah. model is going to be a tremendous hub as well, which uh, usually isn't the case or isn't always the case when you're talking about a 31.5-inch display, mm-hmm. usually in that scale. So I think this might be an interesting option for... It could be an interesting option for users who don't want to splurge on some of those really expensive displays like the Apple's XDR display, things like this. Uh, obviously, it's not the same resolution, but... It's OLED, which is fun. Uh-huh. So, anyway, 